Hey guys, and welcome to this new video on my channel. This is a money making video, but it's going to tie in with a new series I'm going to start from next week. And this is binding contracts. Now, binding contracts are a really good way to make some XGP from your jobs and also to make a lot of XGP on certain Slayer tasks, which do have the ability to turn the Slayer creatures into binding contracts. So, to do a binding contract, you actually only need one summoning to uh, create them. But to do them, you need to unlock the Dagon by Achievement by Archaeology. This achievement also requires you to do Contract Clause and Embrace the Chaos at the Infernal Source dig site, which is the Zamarakian dig site. Once that is completed, however, you have full access to Ancient Summoning and the ability to create a Binding Contract to create a bit more money on your Slayer task or just extra money in general. Now, to get the Binding Contracts, there are two methods. There are to make them yourselves or to also receive them as a reward from the ancient casket in the Tetra Compasses loot. They are quite common and they are received in a quantity of 50, but um, they're not really consistent or quick enough to make quite a lot. If you are looking to make a couple of thousand, the best route is to make them yourselves at an obelisk. So to make them yourselves, you are going to need to buy some items to make sure you can do that. So it's gonna be two Blood of Orcus, which are quite high at the minute, two Hellfire Metals as well, which are also quite high. And these are the two items which make the Zami sets are quite expensive. Some of the Zami sets, if they use a lot of Blood of Orcus or Hellfire Metal, are quite on the pricey side. You also need 200 Spirit Shards, which will be a flat 5k so if your items you need as well 200 spirit shard and just a normal power so to make a binding contract you're going to be in for a total of just under 48k now that is a quite a lot for just a single item however once you see the prices which the patch do sell for all but one actually make quite a decent bit of profit um abyssal demons actually lose money probably because they are one of the most camped monsters in the game but everything else pretty much makes over 15 to 20k per pouch profit based off the binding contract price so they are very much worthwhile doing on certain slate tasks it's just having the time put to one side to make the binding contracts so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you how a binding contract is made and um, there are two methods to doing it i'm going to show you the way to just use a normal obelisk so we're going to go to the if or area and use the obelisk there so like any other option it's just going to the obelisk once you click it binding contract comes up uh one something needed click it and you create the binding patch now, that's one way to do it. You could just run back and forth between the bank. However, how I prefer to do it, and it also makes quite a lot of extra per hour, is go to the Tavernly Summoning Store, sell the Blood of Orcus and Hellfire Metal to the shop, and then just buy and mass create the pouches in one big go. Now, obviously, you're going to lose some money because you will lose some of the items to the shop, but in terms of speed, it is a lot faster, and you're looking to make up to about 5,000 pouches per hour which that is what you've got to consider with the profits of these pouches. Yes, you're going to make quite a lot of profit per pouch with the items you're killing, but also you've got to spend the time to create the pouches itself as well, which will pretty much half or have a hinder on your GP per hour. Now, if you want me to show you how I use the tablet method, both for normal summoning and for making binding contracts, please leave me a comment and I'll make that. It won't be too much um, hassle and it will be, I think it will be beneficial to show the setup I do to try and do it as quick as possible and to make as many pouches as possible as well. So just going over the summoning familiars. So in terms of these familiars, the lowest one is the Hellhound, which is what I'm going to go show after this. Hellhounds are extremely quick to get and a very decent profit as well. And some of the better profit ones are the Blood Reaver, the Calgarian and the Ripper Demons. Now, if you're never sure on which one is the best profit at a given time, if you do use a wiki and I'll try and put a link in, in the comments or the description, they will always have a breakdown of the profits it takes to make the contract as well as the price to sell in the GE and then also work out the profit based off um, the two. So as you can see, the best ones in the minute are the Calgarian Demons. These are 94k, however, I do think the price of these are going down a bit, so these can fluctuate a lot. Ripper Demons, although they're 43k in terms of profit per hour, they are one of the best. Ripper Demons are such a niche way of killing them, they're going to need their own separate video, which is something I'm going to come out with. Originally, killing them in their own personal dungeon was the best method, but however, due to the wilderness, the wilderness has got a lot quicker in terms of killing them and uh, better GP per hour as well. So I just need to work out a few things for that, and I'll come out with a guide for that as well. Hellhounds if they 1k for the lowest requirements and how quick you kill them is actually massive profit per hour, and it's a very common slay task, so it's something I would definitely recommend doing. If you are a clue scroll hunter as well, you can just go in Hellhounds for your 25 clues and just AFK in that. This can be another way to make some massive money along with the clue scrolls you are hunting. Waterfiend Gargoyles are very good and very consistent slayer tasks as well, along with Calgarian Demons. If you are doing them, I would recommend having a stack of binding contracts just to make even more money from Slayer than you normally do already. So that was the wiki. Now, what I wanted to do is just show you pretty much how I do an invo or a setup. So I'm going to go and prepare to go and kill some Hellhounds, which are nice and AFK, um, although I don't have a room currently for some clue scrolls. Best way to do it is to use your bone necklace as well, just for maximum prayer. 
Not that they do drop anything, but I always take spring cleaner just out of habit. Aggression potions, although you don't need it, it just saves you having to reset the spawn every now and then. Magic no paper, because you will see why in a second. And if you have a dungeoneering cape as well, it's a very quick tally to get there quite quick. So Tavly Hellhound Dungeon. So if your invo is full of the pouches, they will not create any more. They will not drop to the floor. So you need to make sure that your invo is getting cleared as quick as possible. Now Hellhounds are quite popular nowadays. So I'm just going to hop around and find a world. And I'll come back to you when uh, when we're going. Okay, so we found a world. And I just wanted to point out as well that Hellhounds have been graphically updated. And they look pretty, pretty amazing. So into the middle, aggression potion on just so we got full aggression. Now what you can do as well, if you wanted to, you can use a cannon to increase your spawn range and lure the ones further north. However, cannonballs are 1k each at the minute. They do spawn quick enough and I'm not really struggling for speed at all. So I'm not going to do that. As you can see, uh, hellhounds are quite quick. Um, and if you think each one of these pouches is 30, 30k profit, it doesn't take you long to make quite a lot. So um, I'm basically just going to sit here for an overload dose. See how it gets on, um, and I'll update you once we've finished. So that is towards the end of the overload. Um, I'll give it the last 10 seconds. But as you see, we've killed well over 130 Hellhounds in that five minute period, which is going to be something like 4.5 mil profit. I don't get me wrong, that is not the actual profit because of the time would have been made to make the binding contracts. But uh, even if it was half, that could be up to 2.5 mil per five minutes. So you're roughly making best part of 25 mil an hour just from doing something which we're going to do for a slave task, we're going to do for clue scrolls as well. So I'm just going to go to the GE just to make sure that these sell. Now, one thing which I should have mentioned earlier is to actually get the monster to the binding contract, you do need both the summoning level and the slayer level of that monster to make sure that you can bind it. So to actually bind the monster to the contract, you do need both the summoning level and the slayer level. The slayer level and the summoning level are pretty much matched, so they are the same. So as long as you've got that level and both skills, you are able to do it. So the whole hand at being level 45 is very low entry into it. And it's probably one of the quickest and I'd say most mid in terms of profit. So I'm going to sell those for 75k each. So just sold those and they have gone a little bit over mid. So if I take that out. 79k each when we made the pouch for 48k. So that was a 31k profit per pouch. So it made just over 4 mil for that 5 minute segment. So for an hour you're looking at 48 mil. So if you were doing half. 24 mil for that, which is not too bad as well. I think with a tablet method, you do make binding contracts so much quicker, it actually won't be that severe, and you will be making more towards the 30, 35 mil profit per hour, just hunting clue scrolls or just doing your task at Hellhounds. Now, Hellhounds was one option I wanted to show. I will just quickly go and show Calgary and Demons because that is the other biggest profit one. And it's an also, if you wanted to do binding contracts just for pure GP, those in Ripper Demons also offer you the chance to get charms as a bonus as well. Train your summoning up. Just get to cows. You can also use your dungeoneering slake, uh, dungeoneering master cape as well. I think the 99 also does it as well as teleport options to all the different dungeons. And basically, pretty much the same. I'm just going to do a quick five minute overload dose and uh, let you know what the profit's like there. Even got a collection log slot while doing this. Demon slayer crossbow. I know it means nothing. I know it's worth nothing. But yeah, so that's the end of the cows. I'll just finish this kill here. But we're going to get to 18 kills, which is 1.8 mil for the five minutes, which, you know, Oh, hands were better than that because we made more in the five minute time. But for profits per pouch, the cows will make more than this. Um, so that's where you want to weigh up. What do you want to do? Do you want to do something like Hellhounds, which is easy, AFK and chill? Or you want to do something like that? But what I would say, anytime you get a Slayer monster, um, which can do a binding contract, make sure you use a binding contract. If you wanted to do binding contracts with pure profit, things like Rippers, Cows or Hellhounds is what I'd probably do. Reavers are new in sort of 60k profit per pouch, but killing them is a little bit of a ball ache because they're only in Nexus Prison and they are quite spread out as well. The others, especially Hellhounds, are AFK, and if you do include scroll hunting, especially, will bring a lot more profit to clue scrolls before you even do the rewards as well. So uh, I'm just going to sell these cows. I do think they'll be a little bit lower, so I'm going to put them on minus five, and they haven't sold. So yeah, that's what can happen sometimes with binding contracts. It did sell yesterday. I did do this video yesterday, and it kind of forgot to record so yeah anyway hope you've enjoyed if you have please leave a like and subscribe to the channel like i said come with plenty of content and plenty of ideas i do have a new series on the main starting next week i just wanted to do some um recording beforehand so i'm a little bit ahead of it if you're looking forward to that let me know and uh, like i said if you want to see that tavoli guy just drop a comment and i'll get it done within a week or two hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video